Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2020 in Hotlanta, Georgia. And I'm here with Chris Hawley over at the Honeywell booth. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing great. Great to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Now, I understand you guys have got a big announcement here at the show. Tell us all about it. Yes, here at the show, we're announcing the integrated Beyond Visual Line of Sight system. It's a suite of technologies that allows drones to fly longer but with less human intervention. Cool. So I take it you've got a number of individual components that come together to make this happen. Tell us about them. That's right. So the suite comprises uh, four things. We have our RDR84K uh, multipurpose radar, uh, our hydrogen fuel cell system, our UAV, small UAV SATCOM uh, system, and then uh, a family of uh, IMUs, inertial measurement units. All right, so radar, huh? You can make a radar small enough to fit on a drone like this, and then what does it detect? How does it help? So this is a, a really amazing little radar. Uh, it's uh, 8 by 4 inches. Um, it operates on the K-band. Uh, it can see out to uh, 3 kilometers, and it has a bunch of different uses. So it can uh, detect uh, traffic. It can detect obstacles. It can map terrain. It can see weather. Uh, it can be used for alternate navigation if your, uh, your GPS fails. Uh, it can uh, be used for landing zone detection, and it even can be used as a radar altimeter. Wow. Now, but it's only it faces in one direction. What if you've got traffic coming up behind you? Well, it can be arranged in an uh, uh, in, in assembly with various ones. Uh, each one has a field of view of 110 degrees, uh, 30 degrees horizontal. Um, so you put them together and that can give you a uh, wraparound vision. Fantastic. All right, so next thing, hydrogen fuel cell, I'm guessing that gives you a very long flight time. That's right. So uh, hydrogen fuel cells are uh, basically you can fly three times as long as the equivalent battery. And what, what would that make for an aircraft of this size? So this one uh, with this size tank will fly for an hour and a half, but uh, of course with sufficient fuel they'll fly uh, much longer. Wow. And then you also mentioned a SATCOM link for a multi-rotor. I don't think I've ever even heard of that before. Tell me about that. Yeah, so our uh, SATCOM receiver is very light, and it's actually the smallest and lightest uh, airborne SATCOM receiver on the market right now. Um, we've figured out a way to stream video with it, so uh, you can operate your drone and see what it's seeing from anywhere around the world. <laughs> I didn't realize you could stream video. That's yeah. pretty cool. And then finally, you mentioned IMUs. Obviously, IMUs are essential for any drone. What, what's new and different with that? Uh, very, very sensitive, very rugged IMUs that can be integrated into multiple systems on the drone uh, used for alternate navigation. We have a, a new uh, navigation system uh, that can also take inputs from other types of sensors and, and integrate them uh, for navigation. Well, Chris, it really sounds like a pretty remarkable achievement. It'll be fun to see as this technology gets out there where it takes us. Well, thanks so much for briefing us on it. It's been great talking to you. <laughs> All right, and from Exponential 2021 in Hotlanta, Georgia, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Chris. No problem.